Diclofenac is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug and it's got two main uses. It's used in veterinary preparations and it's also in human preparations. Well, what came to light in 2004 was that Diclofenac in veterinary use was catastrophic. The vast majority of the diet of vultures in South Asia was domestic livestock and a lot of those animals are treated with Diclofenac. If the vultures came to eat an animal that had had diclofenac, they die within a day or two of, of kidney failure or renal failure. And that drug was responsible for over 95%, nearly 99% of three vulture species at least to decline in South Asia. So they nearly went extinct completely because of diclofenac. Once diclofenac was linked, as the governments of South Asia grouped together, well, operated individually but as a whole they banned diclofenac fairly quickly in 2006 it was banned and the process then began to remove diclofenac from the environment and that's a that's a long-term process part of the problem is that people are still using human preparations of diclofenac to treat their animals which is illegal main efforts of conservation are directed towards getting those last bits of diclofenac out of the environment setting up what are called vulture safe zones and trying to introduce the safe alternative to diclofenac, which is called meloxicam. I mean, it was it beggared belief to find out last year that diclofenac, veterinary diclofenac, had been registered and approved for manufacture, marketing and sale within the European Union, which has significant vulture populations. Nobody could believe it in the vulture conservation world. The fact that this drug that had been responsible for nearly sending three species extinct was suddenly available in Europe as well, it just was just astounding. Biodiversity in Europe is protected, so it's actually breaking EU legislation by making an obviously dangerous drug that's dangerous to species and populations of birds in Europe. To make that available is in direct contravention of EU legislation and it directly risks the populations of vultures that exist in Europe now. When you take vultures out of an ecosystem, there's important consequences. They're a keystone species, they scavenge huge numbers of dead animals, the carcass cleanup crew, and they played a vital ecological role as they do in Africa and many other parts of the world. So on so many levels it's disturbing, it's upsetting and it's, it's infuriating to see that this development's taken place. They eat more dead meat than all the other scavengers put together. The only thing that eats more dead meat than vultures is flies. And we know from the beginnings of some research, we know that when vultures are taken out of an ecosystem, that the potential for disease transmission goes up because the mammal to mammal contact between scavengers is increased in the absence of vultures. There's a lot of organisations involved in trying to reverse this decision. It's what's called a referral process to actually get diclofenac withdrawn for veterinary use in the EU. Also individual governments have been written to in the EU uh, with a request to ban diclofenac for veterinary use. The lead has been taken by the Vulture Conservation Foundation along with BirdLife International and at the Trust we're part of a, a larger group of organisations that are helping with that lobbying. The relevant EU Commissioner to get diclofenac withdrawn from the market. Well if people want to help the most obvious thing they can do is sign the petition. It's available, the petition, on the front page of our website and also if you go to change.org, search for vultures, you'll find it there. There's between 20 and 30,000 at Change's rate regularly, but there's not enough people. This is a very important issue, and if you really want to help, sign the petition. We need as many people to do it as possible. Share this video, tell your friends, get them all to sign the petition because that's the best thing you can do individually to help vultures in Europe.